God is when you now see your friends doing or achieving. <gasps> oh my God! <laughs> you know, so I have to tell myself, question that this I'm not jealous. Like it's not as if I'm jealous. It's not as if I'm not happy for you. But it's it's just calm. You are, you are trying to be happy for that person. No. But at the same time, you're like, why is God this not happening to me? God because way. this is what I need at this moment. It's just, it's just, it's just it's natural. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I like the fact that you know we said that okay, it's not going to come. This is no. just being uh -huh. transparent. Yeah, like it is what it is. <laughs> yes, it's not yeah. something you can dodge from or you can just say no. It's a lie. It's, you don't have to because some people like to fake it and nothing. But this is the reality. <laughs> Waiting period it. is not easy. Mm -hmm. It's not easy it at all. And sometimes you have to let yourself vulnerable. Just yeah. be able to open up to someone. Mm, yes, you have someone that you can easily open up to. And the person understands that it's not it's not out of jealousy mm -hmm. you are trying to mm -hmm. talk. But it's just. They understand your pain points. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yes, yes. yeah. I think that one too is very good. Mm -hmm. Great point. But if you don't have friends, I can open up. So. <sighs> hey, <laughs> is it is it possible for like? Someone not to have a confidence. Okay, hello like guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Okwemi. This is a program meant for 14 women for 14 days. One program. I'm your host, and my name is Okwemi. And I have an amazing guest today, my darling friend, my sweet baby. Thank you so much for coming today. You're welcome. I'm blessed. I'm honored. <laughs> Good pleasure. Okay, so can you introduce yourself to the audience? Okay, hi guys. So my name is Janet, and uh, I'm married to Michael, mm. and uh, I'm a mother of one. Mm -hmm. yeah. More, more, more are coming. <laughs> we're talking about waiting period, and after we are going to um, ask our guests several questions, and after the questions, we are also going to have a challenge, uh, and we'll see if she's going to read our gifts or not. <laughs> and after, also there is gift for the audience today, so you have to wait to the very end um, to know what it entails or what is required of you to win our gifts today. So stay tuned, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy yourself with our honorable guest. Okay. So today we are talking about waiting period okay. and um, from our relationship uh, discussion i know that you've had several experience where you had to be like be in the waiting section but i just like to ask for our audience like, a lot of women even more than women but a lot of people in this life like generally in our life time we always have a stage that we wait for one mm -hmm. thing we're expecting probably for job mm -hmm. um for child for mm -hmm. Even marriage. marriage. No one wants to travel about a visa, all yeah. these things. So a lot of things um happen during waiting period and want to discuss it. Like how do you navigate as someone that is striving and mm -hmm. they are still able to skill through? So mm -hmm. I want to learn from you, ma. <laughs> Has there been any time in your life that you had a significant weight in life or something? Um, yeah, I think right from my secondary school days, there was a time I told my mom I would like to get married at twenty two. Oh, I love the idea of marriage a lot, so okay. I've always been looking forward to that time oh, when it will wow. happen. Mm -hmm. When I clocked 22 and I wasn't married yet, hey, now it became a problem for me. So I, I was yeah. like, actually, like, oh, what I already planned mm -hmm. is not coming to mm -hmm. pass, and it was really a duty for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that time. Yeah, I think a, a lot of ladies actually have this experience. Okay. We always have this dream life, like at the age of 25, I want to be married, I want to be married. <laughs> <Yeah>. like planned <laughs> out. I think I told myself that by taxi, I'm done giving birth to all the children I want. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> oh, good, oh, good, yeah. And so, um, during your waiting period, you said mm -hmm. you waited for three years. Yeah. So, um, how were you able to navigate? Like, you did not get there. So how were you coping? Oh, if I say, the period of waiting was a seamless period for me. It would be a lie because it wasn't. It really got to me that period. Like the waiting got to me. So at the point I was so tired, I became very very frustrated. My reaction to things changed so badly. But that three years of my life seems like forever. No, I had someone I was dating. Like, but then he. It's, it seems like this marriage of a thing is not going to happen very soon. So I became so frustrated and then for 
Thankfully, I was able to scale through, I was able to navigate the period with God on my side and because I surrounded myself with people mm. um, that were, they were always there to give me positive energy. Yeah, mm. so they speak positivity to my life and I think that actually kept me going mm. that period. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so this will lead me to my second question. Because okay. I was going to say, you know, there are a lot of emotions that happen during the period. Yeah. Sometimes you feel depressed. Some people feel... <laughs> exactly. Some people feel like... I don't know, like, they, they can't just manage the emotion, like, they feel so down, they, out of the world. There was a time I had a friend that was like, I don't just want to talk to anybody at this time. Like, what are the other emotions that are attached to waiting and how can someone manage it? <clears throat> I think a lot of emotions are attached to waiting. Like you said, you can feel depressed, frustrated, like I told you earlier, I was frustrated and I wasn't responding well to a lot of things that was happening to me then. Responding with emotions will not even solve anything in the first place. So the best thing, as I said earlier, is to surround yourself with people that will speak positively to your life. So sometimes you will feel like, oh, all hope is gone. Sometimes you feel like, oh, you are at a crossroad, you are at the end of the road. and. It will just be like, oh, this thing may not even happen. Mm. But then, one thing for sure that we, we, we are supposed to rely on in that waiting season, mm. while emotion is creep, creeping in, yeah. is God's word. Like, mm. we should just make it our anchor. Mm. When you are feeding yourself with God's word, when you are surrounded with people that will speak positively to your life, mm. you will be able to scale through. Mm. Yeah, so, so the emotion will not. Uh, break you it will come but then it will not really break you mm -hmm. so being depressed and being frustrated will be eradicated through the word of god like you studying the word of god you know? mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. that is actually very great because when you are going through with it there's no way the emotion will not come it will come and and, <laughs> <laughs> and it will come. You know, sometimes when you feel this Kind of anxiety or this it affects every other things that you do and even every when you aspect of your people, life yes and just begin to see sometimes you know the annoying parts about waiting period is when you now see your friends doing or achieving <gasps> oh my god <laughs> when you, now, you know so i have to tell myself question that this i'm not jealous like it's not as if i'm jealous it's not as if i'm not happy for you but it's it's just calm you are, you are trying to be happy for that person no but at the same time, you're like, why is God's this not happening to me? God because way. this is what I need at this moment. For me, you know, that time when I was waiting like on God for my marriage, mm -hmm. almost every Saturday, you see people getting married. Hey, people that are even younger than I can relate. You know, I can relate. And you, you, you just maybe you, you are scrolling through the gram and mm -hmm. you just you are just seeing wedding pictures and like, and you be like, there's this kind of. <laughs> It's not like you hate those people, yeah. But then it will just dawn on you that oh, this is what I actually want for my life, and mm -hmm. why is this thing not happening? Mm -hmm. People that, that are celebrating and having this thing done, it's not like they have two heads, yeah. But then, like, like it happens to a lot of people, a lot of it's people. not like you are jealous, it's not like you don't want good for them, mm -hmm. but then it's just, it's just, just the natural. <laughs> Yes, yes. And, and I think in a way, you know, it can actually affect a lady's self-confidence mm -hmm. and your exactly. self-worth. You begin to doubt yourself like, yeah, are you sure? Is it that <laughs> you, you don't have what they have? Mm -hmm. Or, is or you're like, never as good as you think you yeah. are? Yeah, or maybe you are I, I remember, honestly, <laughs> I remember when I was really looking for a job and I kept on applying. Like in the annoying part is people call me every now and then and tell me that they, they want they, to go for interviews. I should tell them what to do, and I will tell them they will do it. They will get it through. Ah, God! I will not be like, like <laughs> God. Like, oh, I've done all the old things, and and of course, you know when you are involved in the whole process, they, they carry you along. They send mm -hmm. you have to celebrate with them, and your mind is like, God, God, please. God, why me? <laughs> So I don't know what, what, what is it I'm not doing right. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it, it makes us doubt our self confidence. Mm -hmm. And what do you think? What can we do at this point? And sometimes it, it, it reduces our like 
self worth kind mm-hmm. of like mm-hmm. you'd be like, am I not good enough? Yeah. So I think uh, one thing we should do because like this thing is inevitable. It will mm-hmm. happen. Yeah. One thing we should do like, maybe look for someone that we can confide in. Someone we can like speak our mind to True. because sometimes it's not good to just bottle this thing up oh, yeah. because it will be causing a lot of damages mm-hmm. inside of us. So we should just like have someone we like can open up to. Maybe some someone who is knowledgeable enough to actually guide us through, or maybe pray with us, mm-hmm. or maybe like advise us yeah. on something to do and encourage us yeah. like. So that we will not just like give up while waiting. Mm-hmm. Someone who can tell us that oh, this thing will still come. Mm-hmm. Just be patient enough. So. Yeah, I think that is very good mm-hmm. because I like the fact that you know we said that okay, it's not going to come. This is no. just being uh-huh. transparent. Yeah, like it's real. Is what it is. <laughs> yes, it's not something you can dodge from or you can just say no. It's a lie. It's, you don't have to because some people like to fake it and nothing. But this is the reality. <laughs> Waiting fake. period is not easy. Mm-hmm. It's not easy at all. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you have to let yourself vulnerable. Just yeah. be able to open up to someone. Mm, yes, you have someone that you can easily open up. So and the person that said that is not it's not out of jealousy. Mm-hmm. You are trying to mm-hmm. talk. It's just. They understand your pain points. Yeah, that okay, yeah, yes, yes. yeah. I think that one too is very good. Mm-hmm. Great point. What if you don't have friends that you can open up? Hey, <sighs> <Okay. laughs> is it is it possible for like someone not to have a confident at all? At I think, all. I think maybe some people don't, but there will still be someone. Most like, like, mm-hmm, most like, there will be someone like it may be the person may not even be your friend. Maybe mm-hmm. um your mom mm. your sister at least you have someone, someone just understand like it, you yeah are. someone who can relate because it is better to to sometimes you know saying it out alone relieves the burden it really it does it relieves mm-hmm. the burden it does our secret stuff not the other time <laughs> the, the house we had the last time and when we yeah. thought like when i got to me i was very happy i was like i was wrong with this one <laughs> it, it's just like when you open up like it just released the old thing. Yeah, like, it feels like that body has been taken away. Yeah, life continues, giant. Yeah. Nothing happens. Yeah. <laughs> life goes on. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> happens. And I, I think it's a kind of encouragement to everyone so that you know timing cannot be the same for everyone yeah, exactly. of us. So different people with different timing mm-hmm. and God knows the best time for us yeah. actually. And God's time is always the best. Mm. Very true, yeah. very true, very true, very true. Mm-hmm. And uh, my next question is that how can people cultivate patience during waiting time? I know we've mm-hmm. talked a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, patience is one like um, is one thing Holy Spirit can help you with. Yeah. So I think with the help of Holy Spirit, you'll mm-hmm. be able to like wait patiently. Why you are expecting? Yes, no. I we, we've mentioned several points while we are talking, and the one of it is talking with people. Another one you mentioned at the beginning is praying about it. Yeah. And now we are trying to talk about the Holy Spirit. Like mm-hmm. you know, when you have this dialogue, we have this daily communication, studying God's word, it reminds you of God's promises exactly. for you, and so you, you have this assurance that though it's may tire you, but it will still happen. It will surely happen. And you'll be like, God, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Help me. So it's just the patience that matters. It is very difficult. Yeah, it's very, 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 very difficult. It's very difficult. I remember. Oh, no, I wanted to travel abroad. Okay. I've only wanted to travel abroad since that that's a country school. And that was you no know, up to 15 years now. <laughs> so I've always tried, like I keep trying, I've written several exams and I will pass on maybe application process or maybe visa entry process and everything will just stop like mm-hmm. so just go sour and it makes me want to begin to doubt my faith in God, like, mm-hmm. God, why? God, why is this not happening? And um, all those periods, it's time to, like, patiently wait on God and trust in that. And eventually, he did it. Yeah. And, and, and there's one good thing about God, then. Eh? When God is going to do something for you, you will do it in a miraculous way that, you know, it's, it's beyond your expectation. Exactly. Like, any, the place you're not even, you're not even thinking, 
a bath. I'm not even calculating. And God will just do it miraculously. Let me share. If I'm not talking too much here. No, no, no. Let me share. I need How I got married. Um, we've been in a relationship too for a while, but both of us know that we are not ready for this marriage thing, and it is not because the major reason is the financial reason. Like, you're like, in this amount we are earning our salary, it cannot take us anywhere. And uh, miraculously, God just did it, he got the job, and um, my siblings were ready to sponsor me, sponsor my education. Everything was just working, like, okay, why can't you guys just get married and travel together? I'm like, hey, is it that easy? And the whole thing was just working. I had another day because I'm like, how do I tell my parents that I want to get married? Mm -hmm. I'm like, all these expenses on who? Mm -hmm. And I just saw, so I was in Lagos then, and I went home, I just told my dad. Now, I told my dad, I want to tell him something. He said, say it all for I said, I want to see you. <laughs> <laughs> so I just told him, and he was, I was expecting him because he's this kind of very disciplined man. No nonsense. So I was like, I was thinking I get to man, we have to be construed and construct everything. And I just said everything. I just said okay, no problem. Wow. I was like, and I just want us to do court wedding alone. Uh daddy said, No, do everything now. You can do everything, don't worry about it. Hey, yeah, I'm like, God, this is you know, the way God just work here. If you're using your head to calculate it. Like when you are putting pen and book together and trying to say, okay, this, okay, this, you cannot do it with your efforts, mm -hmm. but just leave it to God and uh, trusting Him completely. Mm -hmm. Like finding a place of rest with Him yeah. is is He always come true. Yeah, yeah. That that's one thing I can say for sure. Yeah. He always come it true. Feel. Never. It's not in His bloodline. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, I'll go to my semi-last question. I don't know if this is the last question. Okay. So, um, how can waiting period be viewed as opportunity for personal growth or self-reflection? Actually, um, waiting period can be be a bit difficult, mm -hmm. but then I feel like when you are waiting, God is actually pruning you. God is actually preparing you ahead. Of that your expectation mm. because sometimes we may not really be like ready for that miracle that we are like expecting from god yeah or like in our head you can feel like you can be like oh i should be here at this point of time mm -hmm. i should be there at, the, at this particular time mm -hmm. but then god knows that if he put you in that position at that time you are not ready mm -hmm. like for it yet so that waiting period is actually a time like to actually work on ourselves mm -hmm. to be fit for that particular expectation of hers wow. yes the best thing to do while you are waiting is just to keep preparing keep preparing yourself keep working on yourself keep mm -hmm. building yourself it may not be easy mm -hmm. like it is easier said than done yeah. actually but the best thing for us to do is just to like work on ourselves and build ourselves up mm -hmm. for that so the basic thing is um um waiting period should be like a preparation period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not a time you are just thinking um about it or hoping alone. You, mm -hmm. you are also trying to gather skills, yes. gather things mm -hmm. for yourself. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are waiting for a job or you are waiting yeah. for any particular goals. It's just that time can be getting skills, acquiring yes. skills mm -hmm. and just trying to improve your working on your CV, adding more knowledge. <laughs> hey, hey, sure you get. And all, all those things eventually we add up and mm -hmm. be beneficial. I hear people say something to that. If they had gotten that thing way back, maybe they might not be able, able to undo it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we, waiting period is not like the time for you to just be thinking alone. So try yeah. and work on yourself and exactly. That's Ooh. great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so we'll move to another section now. Okay. <laughs> And this section is the gaming section. <laughs> okay, so uh, you pick from number one to five. Okay, let me pick. Time for two. Uh, okay. If you don't win this thing, you'll be the one to give me a gift. Oh, good. I will win this. <laughs> okay, so number two question. <laughs> yeah. Hey, oh. <laughs> Holy Spirit, help me. It's actually very simple. Okay. And I feel like you're going to pick another number after this. <laughs> okay, so number two is share your favorite quotes. So my favorite quote would be, uh, 
the only person you should be competing with is you mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. be your own greatest competition not mm -hmm. anyone else wow that's profound yeah <laughs> uh, so she's not competing with anyone so my heart is uh today's guest is saying be your greatest competitor right yeah Mm -hmm. Alright, thank you so much for giving us that very wonderful world. Yeah. And can you encourage the viewers to subscribe to our YouTube channel, please? Please <laughs> so, do, yeah, viewers. Subscribe, like, share, yeah. and always comment on all our posts. Yes, thank you. Thank you, you so much. Share my with friend. us. Yeah, share with us what you found very useful today. If you have any question, I guess will be happy to answer your question yeah. and um now moving on to the gifts part for the audience <laughs> so um we'll be having um another guest tomorrow so uh we have the pictures on the screen we can see the pictures of different guests that will be coming so you decide or guess which guests will be coming next and you will the gifts so yeah. drop it down in the comment section which guest do you think will be coming next on this platform evolving women and will stand a chance to win a gift from us thank you so much thank you for joining us yeah. evolving women 2024 is a program that has been scheduled to bless lives so please make sure you um stick with us to the end share subscribe and keep watching this channel Keep watching this channel. Keep watching.